Good morning, class. Um, <clears throat> today I thought that uh, to do a little pre-teaching again for your algebra class. Um, today what you're going to be doing is in algebra is you will be given a function and you will have to find the inverse of that function. So it's going to take some algebra today. So I wanted to make sure I went over that. Um, the first thing you need to know is that f of x is a specific name for a function. g of x is a specific name for a different function. But if you want the y-coordinate for f of x, you would plug an input into your function, and then the output would be the y-coordinate. So another way of writing this f of, fun f of x function would be y equals 3x minus 12, replacing the f of x with a y. Okay, so that's kind of the first step. You replace the function name with a y. And then what we know about functions is that for the function, x comma y is on the function. And for the inverse, y comma x is on the function. Those two get switched around for the inverse. That's the big thing we know about inverses is that the coordinates get flat. So the next step after we replace f of x with y is we're going to swap x and y. So I'm going to rewrite this equation. So instead of y equals 3x minus 12, it's going to be x equals 3y minus 12. Now, this is the original function. This is f of x. Since I swapped x and y, this is not the original function anymore. This is now the inverse of the original function because I swapped x and y. But we don't give a definition for a function as an x equals equation. We give it as a y equals equation. So the next thing we're going to do in order to rewrite this equation as a y equals equation is we're going to solve for y. Solve for y means that you'll wind up with y equals. You'll still have x's in your answer, and that's okay. So the first thing we're going to do to solve for y, we want y by itself here. We have a 3 and we have a minus 12. We want to take care of the minus 12 first. So we're going to add. 12 to both sides of our equation. On the left-hand side, we have x plus 12. x and 12 are not like terms, so we just write x plus 12. On the right side of the equation, these 12s go away, and we now have 3y. Okay. We're not done solving for y yet because we don't have y by itself. We have a 3 times y. So in order to get rid of 3 times y, we're going to divide both sides by 3. x divided by 3 looks confusing, but it just means that we have one third of x. Because remember, there's a 1 here when you can't see a number. 12 divided by 3 would be 4. And then here, our 3s cancel, and we just have y. Okay, now we solve for y. The next step is we're going to write it as an inverse. So instead of writing y equals, we're going to write f inverse of x equals, and then everything else will stay the same, one-third x plus 4. I really want to stress that these two equations are not the same thing. They're not representing the same function. Once we swapped x and y, we had the inverse. We just have to solve for y in order to write it as a function. Okay, we're going to do those same steps for g. So the first thing we're going to do is remembering that the input is x, the output is g of x. We're going to rewrite this as y 
equals 1 half x plus 5. Now we're going to swap x and y. That's going to give us g inverse. So as soon as we swap x and y and we make this x equals 1 half y plus 5, we now have the inverse. This is now f and in g inverse. But we have to solve for y because we're not quite done yet. So we're going to subtract 5. So we get x minus 5, because those aren't like terms, equals 1 half y. Now we want to get rid of 1 half. And remember that when you divide by 1 half, you're dividing by a fraction. The way you divide by a fraction is you multiply by the reciprocal. So dividing by 1 half is the same thing as multiplying by 2. The 1 halves cancel here, and we have y on that side. And now we're going to distribute that 2. So we have 2x minus 10 equals, oops, equals y. But then our last step is we're going to write that as an inverse. So our inverse function is g inverse of x equals 2x minus 10. This is a pre-teaching of what you're going to be doing in your algebra class. And these are the steps. It might be a good idea to write those down. And so then you can um, be successful in your homework. You'll have one practice problem for your um, ABA today. Good luck today.